test your knowledge network topologies. Now, the following five questions are aimed at giving you a better understanding of the different types of network topologies that are used as part of the communication systems unit of the IPT course. So let's have a look at these five questions. Question one, outline the components and layout of a bus topology. Question two, discuss the advantages of using a star network topology over other topologies. Question three, what transmission level protocol would be used on a ring network topology? How would the protocols be used on this topology? Question four, what is the name of the network topology that contains elements of multiple topologies? And question five, draw an example of a network topology that is outlined in the previous question. Now, I encourage you to pause your video here and at 50 seconds, we'll start going through the answers. Okay, question one, outline the components and layout of a bus network topology. Well, we need to understand that a bus uh, topology involves all nodes being connected to a single backbone, okay, like a big cable known as the bus, which is basically the cable that carries all the data packets to all the nodes that are physically connected to it. Each of these nodes listens to the actual bus uh, cable or backbone via a T connector, which is how they're connected. At both ends of the bus line as well, we have terminators installed so that basically data isn't bounced up and down the network. Basically, the data isn't executed once it hits one of those points of the network on the bus line. Question two, discuss the advantages of using a star network topology over other topologies. Now, we need to understand that in a star topology, we have a central node that connects all our laying nodes to it. So it might be a switch or a router in the center, and then all the nodes on the network are connected to this switch or router. And whenever data is sent, it is sent directly from the sender to that central node and then to the destination. So it's, uh, everyone's got their own independent connection to the central node. Okay, so technically the only element that could really bring down the whole network is the central node failing. The physical net connection basically ensures a faster speeds, increased security and a more reliable connection than all other types of topologies. Because basically with wireless, um, we don't have that one secure line of communication. Okay, we're at the susceptibility of the wireless signal and it's also prone to security breaches because other people can access that network rather easily, whereas a physical cable is more secure. It also isn't at the mercy of failure uh, based on some other element of the network. So with the bus uh, network topology, it all comes down to the bus line. And if that fails, the whole network will go down. And in a ring topology, if one of the nodes fails, then basically the network goes down in that case too. So it does have basically the most reliable connection as well based on all other topologies. Question three, what transmission level protocol would be used on a ring network topology? How would the protocol be used on the topology? It's obviously gonna be the token ring protocol in which a, the token is passed from node to node around the network. So basically when a node ha uh, has the token, it will receive all data addressed to it and then it can then send all the messages it wants to set at that time and then it passes the token to the next system on the network and then it can do those same things. It will receive all messages that have been addressed to it and then send its own messages. So token ring protocol would like to be used on a ring network topology, hence the name token ring protocol. Question four. What is the name of the network topology that contains elements of multiple topologies? Okay, that is a hybrid topology because it hybrids in, okay, two or more topologies into one type of network. Okay, so if you see an element of the topology where it is a star network, but it's a router in the middle, but that router also has wireless capabilities, well then straight away that's a hybrid topology because we can see that it incorporates both wireless as well as star topology into its own topology, making a hybrid topology. So with question five, draw an example of this network topology. Okay, let's have a look at an example. Basically, here's gonna be an example of the actual hybrid topology. So we might start off by drawing a big bus line and we might put our terminators on so we can see that that's an actual bus line and we've got uh, different systems connected to this bus line. But then at one point we might actually connect a switch and from that switch, we have a star topology with a router on it. That router might have wireless capabilities allowing us to connect to the internet Okay, then the switch could also connect to another switch, which is connect to another star network. And then on the bus line as well, we may also connect to a ring topology with its own nodes connected too. 
really as long as I can see in this diagram two different topologies in use, it's going to be a working hybrid topology. So I hope these five questions have given you a, a good understanding of the different topologies used as a part of the communication systems unit. The ring, star, bus, wireless and hybrid topologies. So I hope this all made sense to you and you got five out of five.